Today we're going to look at setting the ignition timing on our 1928 Ford Model A. Always looked upon as something of a black art setting up ignition timing. Ask five different Model A owners, you'll probably get five different answers. This is the way I do it. In the Les Andrews book, well worth anybody buying if they have a Model A, they have a, a very simple, very efficient way of setting it up. This is how I go about it. Let's see how we get on. This is our 1928 Ford Model A Tudor sedan. This was on a photo shoot a little while ago. The Thompson gun, by the way, is made of plywood. This is Les Andrews' book, a superb publication if you've got a Model A. On page 2-18, there is a, a diagram. I've uh, coloured the re relevant things in in red, just showing the uh, which connections go where as far as the spark plugs are concerned, because it's not obvious. These are the tools you're going to need. It's the crank handle, uh, a light with a couple of crocodile clips, set of feeler gauges, little tool for holding the cam still, half inch AF spanner and a wide bladed screwdriver. This is the timing light, very simple to make, it's just an old bulb holder from a car side light I think it was, a couple of pieces of wire, uh, two little uh, crocodile clips and I've put a hook on the top to make it easier to, to keep in place. This is where it's all going to happen. First of all we need to pop the top off the distributor, hook the cap round the bonnet stay. For, th for this exercise the rotor arm I've put a little white arrow on it so it's easier to follow which direction it runs and on the right hand side I've run a white line to number one cylinder just to make it a little bit obvious for the video. Need to put the starting or crank handle in position. If we start cranking the engine over very slowly we can bring the rotor arm round to the correct position for number one cylinder. We need to check that we've got a 25 thou gap between the end, end of the rotor arm and the contact for number one cylinder. Now we disconnect the links to the spark plugs, take the body of the distributor off, take the rotor arm off. We need to make sure we've got a 20 thou gap on the points. Obviously you've got to put the foot of the points on top of the cam for this. Now we need to find the timing pin that sticks out of the front there. You've got to remove that with your half inch AF spanner or wrench. Once you've removed the timing pin we want to turn it round and push it back in the hole the other way around. I'll show you why. This is what's inside that timing cover. It is a fibre timing wheel. On the other side there's a little hole on the edge. I've marked it with white. The idea is you want to be able to push that timing pin at the right place so it drops into that hole. That way you've got top dead centre on number one cylinder. Push the timing pin back in the front as I suggested. Now as you crank the engine over you want to just push usually with your thumb. So as the fibre gear is turned inside the timing pin will drop into the little hole in the timing gear. Now using our special little wrench for the cam and a screwdriver we want to slacken the screw off at the top so the cam can turn freely. The cam underneath has got a serrated edge to stop it slipping round so it's uh, very important to undo that screw far enough to make sure the cam is turning freely. Now we need to connect our timing light one connection to the earth, usually the body of the distributor, the second connected to the points.
just double check that the timing light is working flip the uh, the cam round a little bit as the points open and shut the timing light should come on and off here's another view of the timing light just if just in case you're finding it difficult to see hooked up on top of the uh, scuttle there inside the car just below the steering wheel on the left hand side you have the ignition lever or the spark lever it's sometimes called if you look carefully there's a quadrant underneath and it's a series of notches the general idea is you want to set the timing so the light is off when the lever is at the top in the fully retarded position as you pull it down when you hit the second notch the timing light should come on turn the distributor cam counterclockwise until the points are open that's the test lamp is test lamp lights and the breaker point rubbing arm block is sitting on the cam high lobe now turn the cam clockwise until the points close test lamp goes off now lock the cam screw down and turn the cam counterclockwise just enough to remove all the backlash the points should be in the just close position Re repeat this step necessary sometimes it takes four or five times to get it right slowly pull down the ignition or spark lever until the points open while counting each notch the test lamp should light the points are open at about the second notch on the quadrant replace the rotor arm the body of the distributor connect the spark plugs up make sure the uh, uh, ignition lever is in the fully up position turn your ignition on again make sure you've got fuel she should start video has been useful. Until next time, cheerio!